Hey everybody, Reactor here, and I'm a little bummed out. I'm about to watch Grade A Under A's new video that he published on Monday, and it got me thinking. I don't know if I'll ever be able to grow my channel as fast as him. I just don't know how he did it. But anyways, let's start the video. What the fuck is going on with YouTube, man? I don't know if you lot know this right, but recently, What's wrong, man? Oh, hi, Grade. I don't know. I'm just a little bummed because I don't know if I'll ever get my channel as popular as yours. Wait a minute. Do you think you can teach me? Of course, man. Awesome! Hello, everyone. Grade A under A here. Alright, first of all, for people who aren't funny or interesting, growing a YouTube channel is a fairly difficult thing to do, right? It sure is. Getting the initial exposure is especially difficult. Controversy is one of the easiest ways of getting attention to your YouTube channel. Which is why in the past I have made a few videos directly calling out certain YouTube personalities, right? And people started paying attention, man. In the millions. So this in itself is pretty fucking hypocritical, right? It sure is, Grade. It's one of the most hypocritical things I've ever heard. But listen, controversy is one way of getting attention, right? Another way of getting attention is sympathy. If you watch the following clip, right, you will see me seeking a nice bit of sympathy. You got it. Now listen, I've been fucked over quite a bit already in my short online career, right? I've had other YouTubers flat out steal my jokes word for word. I've also had some guy use my copyrighted material to put together a fake advert for himself, which deceived and fooled a bunch of people into subscribing to him. Oh. I think I get it now. You fuck with other YouTube channels to create controversy, and then when people start fucking with you, you cry for sympathy. I should make a controversial video calling you out, Grade. But what could I say about you? Your life is so squeaky clean. Now listen, I've shown you plenty of contradictions, but I will leave you with this one last contradiction. I'm not trying to hide shit. I have absolutely nothing to hide. Except pretty much everything about everything. But seriously, who the fuck am I? I have got a very big set of balls when responding to Nicole's video. I would fucking love to hear myself directly address this video. Now, now, I'm not saying go and send mean tweets, right? What I'm saying is maybe you want to tweet this video to me and ask for my response to this video. I hope that everyone can now see that I'm a fucking hypocrite and an all-round shit person, alright? I will leave you with this one last clip. Nicole says that she's not affected by other people's thoughts or your comments, right? However, she is affected by your comments. Wow. Do you know what that means? She's human, you fucking cheeky bitch. 